Tonight, the Colleyville Police Department believes flyers found in their city are anti-Semitic. It is being investigated now as a potential hate crime. And the flyers were found elsewhere in North Texas this weekend as well. Here's more now from Nick Starling. Skyler Ray was walking his dog this weekend in Garland when he found bags like this. As I kept going down like street by street, like they were on like literally every driveway. And when he looked inside, pretty, I was pretty startled, pretty, you know, a lot of, a lot of emotions, angry, kind of frustrated. I've, I've got Jewish family members. And so, you know, when you see stuff like this, especially with what happened in Colleyville last month, you're scared a little bit. The materials contain words like, quote, every single aspect of the COVID agenda is Jewish, end quote, with a list of names from the CDC and President Biden's cabinet, along with references to World War II, among other phrases. And then at the bottom, it says these flyers were distributed randomly without malicious intent. So hard to see how that's not malicious, but whatever. This is not something that we are going to put up with. It's anti-Semitism and it's hate. Anna Sultan Eisen is a member of Congregation Beth Israel in Colleyville, where last month a hostage taker held four people, including the rabbi, in a nearly 11 hour standoff. She says the community will work with law enforcement once again to find out who did this. It's obvious that these people who are attention seeking um, probably figured that this would bring them more attention, which it has. But I also think that if you ignore hate, it grows and it you know, doesn't stop it. In a statement, the congregation confirms that members of Beth Israel did receive the flyer. These bags are not just found here in Colleyville or in Garland. The Anti-Defamation League says in the past three months, they've seen more than 50 of these incidents across the country. Look, Nick, it is incredibly disappointing, um, but it's not surprising. This group had an organized effort this weekend across the country, so we were aware of it earlier last week and able to give a heads up. Um, to some law enforcement so that they knew that it was headed our way. Police tell us they're asking for a doorbell video in hopes of catching whoever left the flyers. You don't ever want to see something like that happen in your community, really to anybody. In Colleyville, Nick Starling, CBS 11 News. And the mayor there in Colleyville responding to those flyers saying in a statement that, quote, the city denouncing denounces hate in any form. It has no place in our city. That from the mayor there. Similar flyers, by the way, have been found in San Antonio, Houston, and outside of the state of California, Florida, and Maryland since the start of the year, we are told as well.